Hello friends and welcome back to our ultimate general frustration, I mean playthrough. We have once again been forced to fall back and sort of surrender the territory that we conquered and now we are going at them once again with our absolutely minimal force here that is our third core. Sigh. We'll just need to try and get on and do what little we can with what little we have. Now this core is absolutely brutal as in barely standing so this should be an incredibly difficult endeavour here. I don't think we're going to be able to capture a little round top here with what we currently have. But that doesn't mean we won't try, right? I'm going to send Morin up just to scout. I'm assuming there's going to be forces in here and there's nothing we're going to be able to do with 2,000 men, basically. Hurry up, the Federals may reinforce their position. Yes, yes, yes. Right, you're going to go along the road. We'll see what we're dealing with here. The 11th Rebel Yell doesn't fill me with, I would say, confidence. Morin's moving up. We're going to try and get an eyes on and see what we're dealing with here. I keep expecting them just to come under volley fire. Like that. So there's men over here somewhere. Looks to be artillery. So Moody, let's move up and try and get an eyes on. You can go that way and scout for us. We've got men in the defensive point here. I'm going to move them up there. There we go. Right. Right, right, right. So there's cannons coming from there. You traps are on the defensive point. You can fall back. 11th Rebel Yell can get their way over here. Moody, I think we're going to have to keep here just now for the line of sight. There's absolutely no way with the troops we have here we're going to be able to take anything here. I've got a feeling when this timer runs out it's just going to make the battlefield bigger anyway. So that's what we're going to basically count on. You lads going to get in the woods there and we'll try and kill them with sort of crossfire. We'll get the ammo up behind. So they should be able to fire at them from the flank. These guys have Harper's Ferry so that's not a bad gun. You lads are going to turn here and we're going to try and volley at them from the flank. There we go. We are taking fire from sort of all around the hill. This is probably going to be happening here pretty much from the, the get go. You guys need to form up and fire. Now. Please fire. They're charging you. I'm gonna move the lads in just so we're close to them. I'm gonna counter charge them. Hold. Excellent. That is excellent. Right, Moody. I kinda need Moody to stay there. I'd like to move Moody around and try to engage these guns, but I don't think that's gonna be an option. We'll pull these lads back, they can take their time with it. No, they can't, they're under cannon fire. We'll get them back into the woods. Reform. That was excellent there. That was truly excellent. I honestly think at this point we need to let just let time advance and yeah, we'll see what happens with the, the extension of the battlefield, which is what I assume is coming. See, these cannons at one point were here, so I'm half tempted to now push this way and see what happens. I could remount Moody and send them that way, but it's probably a disaster. I'll send Morin up here to have a look. We'll take the path as far as we can and then we'll... I assume there's going to be troops here. There literally, like, has to be. There's no way they've left the point undefended. Because, I mean, honestly, if they have, I'd be tempted to move up this hill and take the hill. They're counter... sort of skirmishing fighting there, which is fine with me. I don't know where these gunshots are coming from, because it's certainly not us. There's surely troops there. There literally has to be. I expected to be deployed so far forward. Yep, there they are. Okay. There's actually not many men up there. There's really not many men. We only have one brigade, though. I feel like I'm, I'm being silly by committing. Unless I move them up, I try and take this tree line. Oh, God, right, let's go. You can go up there and take that. The skirmishers as well, they can come up there and take that. Cavalry, mount up. Let's get you moving. Supplies can go that way. 100% should have just kept my defensive position. I don't know how Morin's managed to sneak around them here, but here we are. The only way Withers might stand a chance here is if we get behind them, which it looks like we honestly might be able to. You traps come... In fact, we better, we better leave them there with the cannons. We're going to pop the cannons here, have them crossfire, and Midi's going to go and accompany Withers to see what we can do. I've got a feeling I've made a mistake here, but time will, uh, time will tell. Ammo can just chill here. Maybe should have left ammo on the point. We'll form up from two sides, we'll try and hit them from possibly the flank and the rear. That should uh, honestly route them pretty quickly. I'm hoping we've got the morale here to pu possibly push them back. We have a nice defensive position here, if nothing else. So say everything fails us and we end up being cut off, we've at least got a position we can defend and sort of distract the enemy a bit. You guys can fire as soon as you like, same with you. And Morin's just going to float in the middle here offering support and you're going to run now because we need you to start engaging. We really do. Go. Did you move up and fire at them? Morin's going to come round here. Hang around the rear of the skirmishers, just making sure they're getting buffed. 
There we go. And then hold. Withers can move up. So they do have two brigades in the actual point as well. So this might have been a... I mean, this definitely been a mistake. I think we know that now. I mean, you never know. We might be able to route them and maybe try and take their position in or something. Secure the round top hills. Okay, just as we thought the battlefield's going to get expanded and we do not have enough men to sort of challenge for it all. The Union has more forces than expected. The rest of your forces is now ready to attack. If we breach the ridges south of Cemetery Hill, we will encircle the enemy and force them to withdraw from the battlefield. It is worth the risk to continue the attack. I really need more re more men to arrive if you want us doing any of that sort of shenanigans. Let's move up here, keep the pressure on them. Our one brigade of stone will move up and uh, get an eyes on, I guess. They're now, uh, they're actually pushing us here. That's not good. Withers form up. Cavalry, I think we need to pull you back, or rather pull you up the hill. You can reform here and Heinz can come up. We're going to make our stand here, I think. We're going to make our stand. There's not much more for it. I really don't know what they want us to do with one brigade uh, skirmishers. We need the, the full force of our army coming in here. So Withers uh, skirmishers are coming back in. Once they're in, we'll, we'll move forward and see what we can do. Waiting on the cannons catching up as well, so we can at least uh, have a counter battery. Moody's going to move up, as is Withers. If we can get in these points, we might be able to do some uh, some light damage here. Now, I can hear charging. And that's what we didn't want to hear. You guys pull back, please. We don't want them getting into you. Run. Warren, stay there. Living Rebel yell, can you fire at them? Moody, get back. Fire now if you can. Keep running. See, I really should like sort of charge them across, right? Fire now! Don't 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 keep running! Fire! Cannons, can you fire some canister from there? I hope. I can't believe in this massive battle we're micron such a small shit. Okay, we've got a lot. Of, uh, we've got a work cut out here, I think. Vincent appears to be charging us. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna counter charge them. We'll keep them more in close. He should be able to offer support. And I, I reckon Vincent could be routed here pretty easily. My God, they're sending like everything up here. We're in trouble. We need the 11th Rebel Yell to do some serious work here. Burns Division moves to defend Little Round Top. Excellent. It's exactly what we wanted to hear. Encouraging the men. Move forward, Moody. Chase them down. Get another volley, please. Because they're going to come back at you. You better believe that. Withers well, is still an Amelia there, and there's more troops coming, which is not good for us. We're we'll trying to move you up. We'll move the ammo up. Morin, you need to stay next to your men. They're still fighting here. I can't really see the numbers. You can see the fight's taking place. It's about 1800 versus. Is that three or seven? It's hard to tell. Looks like a 7, honestly. Can you fire at them again? They're not in the woods currently, so we should have a, a fair advantage over them here. Morin's finally coming back up. We need him to hold here. You lads move here. Can you fire at them? What an overly micro battle this is. <laughs> Withers is trying his best, but he's about to be outnumbered there, I think. Graham's still standing. I've got another... 3k men roughly coming in from the rear so we're uh, we're in big trouble here we're in big big trouble we can't have this ammo get captured there's 35 uh, 35k in there that gets captured we're screwed because there's one and i can't i honestly can't tell anymore i don't think they are anger's reinforcement wow they've got more more reinforcements coming exactly where we've dug in to fight them excellent now unfortunately they were about to route and uh, unfortunately our troops have routed first. Well, we're going to pull Morin back here behind the guns. And we'll, we'll get him set up holding here now. Well, oh wait, Withers has got his shit together? Nope, nope, no, definitely doesn't. Moody's now out outnumbered, outgunned, so we're going to fire a volley and then pull back. Get deeper into the forest if we can. Massively outnumbered here, we're going to pull them back again. I'd like you to go this way if you can. We're going to take masses of casualties, but we don't have much of an option. This has been an absolute butcher in here. The men are trying to hold, but God, it's grim. The 
set you chaps up here if you can. Yeah, Wither's is trying, but it's not looking good. Hugh Moody is now wounded. That honestly doesn't surprise me. He's kind of up against it here. We've made a massive mistake. Massive mistake. Pull Morin back a wee smidgen. Try and get him to hold here. We can hear another charge incoming, we just can't see where it's from. I'm quite happy with them hitting run in the woods here. This isn't good. Brothers, can you reform? You need to go up front here. I will detach some skirmishers. I'll send them over here to try and help this flank. Do what we can, we'll do what we can. Wothers needs to move up and engage them. Wothers skirmishers needs to come here and try and engage them from the flank, so we're at least hitting them from two sides. Not sure why they're taking their time so much, I really need them running here. Keep falling back, want to try and draw them if we can and then fire at their flank here. If they get in the melee with us, we're screwed. We've managed to outrun them and sort of keep them at an arm's length. Now we need to sort of hit them from two flanks here. You know the funny thing is, I really enjoy this like micro battle where we're just like hopelessly outnumbered. And there's another thousand men joining the fray. Great. Uh, Wither's skirmishers are routing, which honestly at this point isn't a surprise. I think we're going to pull Morin and Co back, as well as our guns. Uh, Moody can fall back here, we'll get him back on horse and we'll try and pull him back. Crawford's division spotted. Oh, excellent. More enemies coming into the fray here. Wither's is genuinely just taking one for the team. Trying to help the cannons escape, not that they're, uh, they're anything overly excited. Right, Wither's, I think you could probably uh, retreat now. And we'll get Moody back this way. May set up a defence here. They're retreating as best they can. Moody is also. Probably should have just stayed at our farm here rather than trying to be smart and sort of counter or anything. Right, can you guys run now? Just get back there. Maybe I should just put the cannons honestly in there and just use the, the battery point. Morin can come here, Hope can come there. Other skirmishers can come back. Yeah. Just need to reform here and hope for the best. They're getting more and more reinforcements and we can't even challenge here. I'll pull, uh, I'll pull stone across here and see if we can get stone next to the cannons. I might be able to help. That's excellent. So if we're on this point, we actually get the, the spotting point. Do I risk it? I think I will. We'll move up and see if we can get line of sight here. That'll be pretty big for if we get reinforcements arriving, which I honestly really hope we do. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Managed to get line of sight. Jesus, God. Big opportunity here. Slow comes Williams Division left. Oh, God. They're actually getting... Uh, they're getting ouchied here. I haven't even fired a volley yet. If we can kill one cannon unit, I'll take that as a win. Right, that's fine with me. We've uh, done a lot of damage to them. We'll get the lads in the woods here. They're also spotting. So what those lads there are doing is giving our cannons line of sight to fire. They are unfortunately charging this point with a couple of thousand men. The, th the thing is, right, see if we had our full, uh, our full core here, I reckon we could absolutely destroy them. Like, they're all so badly injured and wounded. I'd fancy our chances. I think we'll pull Withers back here, as well as the ammo, and then Moody can come round here. We're going to fall back and try and have a strong centre, because there's really not much else we can do. Stone here is going to fire probably a volley or two and then get out of here. And maybe skirmish them from the woods for a wee while. They're charging us. Fire and run. Run, 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 run. They actually look like they're stopping on the point, which is a good move for them. Stone has been rear flanked here, not a surprise. Withers is trying to move towards this point. We'll get him in, uh, him in there. We're in big trouble here, thought. Moody, come back. Ammo's here. Morin can move into this sort of barn. Take up position there. An hour and a half for us to pretend we, we can stand and fight here. Withers is in the defensive point, so there's that. I think what I'll actually do is move stone here next to the cannons, just in case any infantry decide to come and have a go. An hour and 25 minutes of this left. Oh dear. There's a charge coming, that's not what we want. Moody, can you quickly come round here? I think we may need a hand uh, repel on this. Stone move up. I guess our charge ran out of steam. Did they come round here? Man, they're forming up defensively in a big way. Gonna dismount the lads here. We'll get them into the the forest. 
That way they should not be taking fire. We've got no hope here. This was our third core. They were battered and bruised and basically formed up at the last minute. I'm, I'm honestly shocked that they're even still standing uh, quite as well as they are. We'll move Moody up, try and offer some crossfire support, but I think we all know how that's going to go. Our shrapnel didn't do more damage there, I don't know. Fire again. We volleys for days here. Maybe can you keep just falling back? There we go, they're routing. Now turn and fire. Turn and fire. Stone, do not run. We need you to turn and fire. You to turn and fire. Withers, we're gonna need you to hold here in a big way. They should hold that. There's no way they should be moved. They're in a defensive point there in an open field. They are sadly trying to push us here and we are uh, We are beyond stretched thin. The funny thing is, I'd say we're overperforming right now. I mean, at this very second, not in the general sort of feel of things for the battle. The woods here are definitely offering us a bit of a buff because uh, their casualties are flying down way quicker than any ours. Unfortunately, I think the, the woods there is giving them some sort of cover. They have more men coming up here. The ammo, how are you doing for ammo? Actually, pretty good. Only four times it and just sort of waiting on our impending doom coming. Oh yeah, we were getting overwhelmed here massively. Those cannons are basically gone. We're holding where we can, but you can see this was a, this was a hopeless task. I mean, if they just charged us just now, we'd be done. Culp's Hill under attack. Thank God we're moving somewhere else. Okay, we get to reset up here again, so that's super fun. Our brigades, as we're about to see, are absolutely battered and bruised. The third corps basically doesn't exist. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to commit and get on with the battle at hand here. Rough. Several fur brigades are fortified at Benner's Hill and seek an opportunity to attack. The bulk of our forces are going to attack Culp's Hill from this direction. Most of Union forces are engaged on Cemetery Hill and on their left flank, so defences are expected to be lighter now. Union reinforcements are surely going to arrive from this direction, so we must be careful. Cemetery Hill can also be attacked if we find a good opportunity. General. If we take either of those hills tonight, we can win the battle. Good luck. So we only need to take one of them. Okay, let me just pause and look at this. So, what have we got here? Shit ton of infantry. Loads of skirmishers. So, the two of them there, as well as the big game hunters, you're going to move up and take point. Very quickly. McHenry, Taylor, Cook. I guess you chaps are going to take up position behind them. Our cat man, we've got a lot of cannons here. Tenth are going to move up. Ninth's going to move up. 7th's going to move up. These cavalry here, we do have some CSA regulars. I think for these chaps, what we'll do is I'll move them round to the flank just to cover, just in case. To the north. My god, we've got a lot of, a lot of troops that are already in their defensive points. So, we're probably going to be fighting through the town here. Right. Cannons here. So, let's move them up here. Dolsky's Mad Lads are super long range, if I recall. Wolf's Legion can come here. Scotch Guard are going to move uh, to cover the rear here. They're moving up. Dolsky's Mad Lads can stay there. Our infantry here. We'll get the three of them formed up there. First Rebel Yell can move up there. Second Rebel Yell can also move up there. Kyle Randolski will move up with them. Hines moving up. Here, I think we probably want to be somewhat defensive, but also move up and take any ground that we currently can. Stevo's Outlaws and Lucky Brigade could move up. See, we hold this. But I imagine it's going to strip it off us the second uh, the enemy gets near there, which will be very quickly, I assume. Very quickly. Well, let's go and see what's going down. I'm going to move Stevo's Outlaws up here. The Light Brigade, I'm going to get them to form up. Fifth Rusty Pipes can move up. Widowmakers can move up. Get them spotting. Light Brigade can come round here. I'm going to get a Cavalry Corps sort of formed up, I think, in the town here. And we'll try and operate them from there. So the 47th Virginia, they can form up and head round here. Union secured Cemetery Hill, we knew that was going to happen. That's not a shock to us. Um, Dolsky's Mad Lads are going to move up and hopefully do a bit of spotting over here. We will get Wills Legion up into this sort of farmhouse and the Scotch Guard can take up position here. Right, Dolsky's Mad Lads have taken some pretty pretty serious losses here. So we need to be careful with them. We don't want them uh, being destroyed and losing all those expensive guns that they have. We'll move the lads up here and get an eyes on. The Southern Twisters are coming up. Lynch can move up, as can Baylor. 
Um, Steve was outlaws. We're going to move up to the edge of the town. Moody to the edge of the town. Sullivan to the edge of the town. Our guns, aka cannons, we're going to move up. The light brigade are going to form here, and the uh, the forty seventh are coming round here as well. So we're basically slowly trying to nitpick our way into the correct position. And then we're going to sort of try and overwhelm them, I guess. Cannons, I'm going to move as close as we can. I'm kind of confused with the fact that there's not more troops uh, trying to engage us here. I can hear guns uh, firing, but I can't see it. And there they are. The Iron Brigade, they have less than 200 men available. That's pretty massive. Southern Twisters push. Lucky Brigade come here. Light Brigade can come around here and support. We might be able to take this relatively easily, actually, looking at the, the situation that we've been presented with. Cannons, I'm going to move to here. I'm going to try and keep them all sort of clustered up a bit so that they shouldn't be able to get around and sort of flank us and do some devastating damage. Three star brigade there though, man. That's uh, that's rough. Cannons keep firing there, that's fine. We should probably move in and start pressurising this now, so we've got three brigades here. I'm going to move them to there. Um, you chaps, so we've got three very, very badly damaged brigades here. We'll move them there. Okay, they're moving to reinforce the point. These guys are going to start getting slaughtered from the flank, which is not, not, not good for us. Um, you three are going to move up. We're going to get you in the defensive point here to offer support. Same with blind skirmishers and Sinclair. We're going to try and use their own points against them here. That's the, the plan. We can hopefully get some defensive cover. We're going to move you lads here and we're just going to assault this from the front. Light Brigade can come here. 47 Virginia come round. Ammo keep moving and Baylor keep moving. Lucky Brigade can move up. Slow and steady here. That's going to be our plan. Slow and steady. I say as I start running all our troops through an open field towards the enemy. Now we need to use them to push here. We take this, we can then fold round. That's the plan. Right, we're firing them, we're ranging them. That's all we can be doing just now. We'll move these guys up with a sprint. Cook's also going to move up with a sprint. We do have the defensive points here. We can start shooting at them. It's slow, but it's progress. Cannon's going to come here. Other cannon's going to come here. Other cannon's going to come here. But our battery here. Cavalry's covering the flank just in case anyone shows up out of the blue. Should probably be pushing here a bit harder. Going to move Wolf's Legion up. Scotch Guards are going to move up the flank here. Our two main cannon batteries, we're going to get them moved up as far as we can. Kyle Randolski's accompanying, as is Heinz. Right, you lads are going to come here and then we're going to just try and overwhelmingly push this point. We're going to take losses here, but we need to we need to push. We need to start trying to really cause damage. Got a lot more men in here than we first anticipated. Move you lads to here. You fire at them. You fire at them. You fire at them. We need our three cannons. All firing at them. Sinclair, I'm going to put in this flank. It means the CSA can come around and join our cavalry sort of contingent here. I wonder if we can push this. We've got men moving up. You know what? I'm going to move up and try and get better uh, position in here. That's our plan. Kovsky's mad lads, can you form up here and just hold that position? Wolf's Legion is getting us uh, some nice spot in here. I think the Scotch Guard will come here and we'll try and come round. Okay, you lads keep moving. Like so. Smith's falling back. That's pretty massive. We'll move up the, the cannon brigades here. Lucky Brigade are going to move up and, get and try and get a better angle. Moody's coming around here. Steve's outlaws go. Run, 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 run. They're firing here. That's fine. Hopefully we'll overwhelm them. Wolf's Legion can move up. Try and really, really hit them from the flank. You can move up and hit them. Scotch Guard are coming round. We're actually looking pretty good here, I think. I mean, it's going to take time, but we're getting there. Fire at them. Fire at them. Yeah, they're going to be overwhelmed here, I think, in a big way. I'm actually going to take the hit here and move all our cannons up. We'll try and get a counter battery set up as quick as we can. As quick as we can. They're going to be gone shortly. Moody, move up. We're going to try and fire at them from the flank. Can you guys wheel a little bit? Can you guys wheel a little bit? Can you wheel? You keep firing there. Watson is wounded. Not even really sure who that is, if I'm being honest. And then we're going to try and converge on them. You guys are blocked, so what we're going to do is Sullivan is, in fact, going to move as close as he can and then charge. Kel Randolski is very much in the thick of it here. Over here, I think we have uh, dislodged a lot of them, so we're going to run up the hill. Cook as well. Our skirmishers are holding here. Lucky Brigade move up. Southern Twisters move up. Cannons move up. Our cavalry corps I'm going to have operating in this big open field here. Confederate secured Cemetery Hill, that's what I like to see. We're going to move up and take the defensive lines. They're falling back. Right, run up now. Ghost Legion move up. Scorch Guard move up. Dolsky's Mad Lads move up. We're trying to take possession in here, that's what's key. Now, it did say if we take either of these, we'll win it. So I'm going to actually try and uh, full send and take both of them. I'm going to full send it and try and take both of them. Cavalry will get in here. Cannons can keep moving. We're going to move these cannons up. 
like so. Cook and core moving in here. I might get cook on that point. When the time's right. I don't think it's right just now, but when the time's right, we'll try and get them in there. You lads move up, you lads move up. Okay, this is pretty big. Steve was outlaw's gonna turn fire then. Moody's gonna come here. These Dixie boys get up, Sullivan get up, six rebel yell get up. Second rebel yell move up, first rebel yell move up, Blackpool Brigade and Cole move up, Kel Randolski move up. Scotch Guards are engaging here, Rose Legion will move up, Dolsky's Mad Lads will move up. Rose Legion will try and get round here to help. You lads are firing at them already, you go there, you go there. They're getting routed. Right, I kind of want to be a bit more selective of who I put in the front lines here, because we have a lot of very badly uh, wounded brigades. Like, really badly wounded. So Sullivan should be up here. Our cavalry, I'm going to move in. We're going to try and get them to dismount and help here. Sixth Rebel Yelling Corps moving up. Yeah, it's a matter of time here. It is absolutely a matter of time. Our cavalry, are, uh, sorry, our cannons are moving in and getting involved now. We'll move Sinclair around here. They're in, uh, they're in trouble. Let's get on the defensive point here. Oh, maybe not being a good move. We'll find out. You move up. Scotch Guards are going to be more of a defensive uh, force than anything else. Right, you two are going to move, in fact, you're going to move up and take their place because they're pretty badly battered. First Rebel Yell, second Rebel Yell moving up, Ammo's moving up, sixth Rebel Yell move up. Just need to keep the momentum uh, going in our, our favour. Stay in the front foot, always taking a step forward, not a step back. Yeah, Sullivan's going to move up, start taking some of the hits here. Loose Legion's going to be in the edge of the forest, Scotch Guards are moving there. Keep challenging, that's what we're trying to do here. Keep moving the ammo up because uh, I think we're seriously going to need it. Stone can get in there in the forest. Yeah, they're they're getting slaughtered here. It's just a matter of time. Lucky Brigade move up. Southern Twisters are doing fine. Widows move up. Henrys move up. Steve's Outlaws move up. Moody move up. Sullivan move up. We need to just keep taking the position in here. Obviously, these mad lads I think have sort of served their purpose. It would be nice to capture them. I don't know how I feel about sending Wolf's Legion after them. I guess I will. Trying to use our sort of healthier looking brigades to do the the main fighting here and we'll move these lads out to cover this flank. Wolf's Legion are not going to manage to uh, let's get a volley at them and then we'll fall back. Still reloading. Cannons will keep moving up. Our cavalry I'm going to pull back, reform because uh, we're well and truly sort of taking the points here. Move you lads to here, you lads to here, you lads to there. You two can move to here. Scotch guards can come round here. Yeah, we're literally got them enclosed in a pocket here. There's not much they can do. We're going to try and keep uh, slowly, slowly, slowly closing the gap. Capture both points at this point. Cavalry, I'm going to move here. I'll mount them up again. Get them here nice and steady. Baylor can move up. Southern Twisters can move up. McHenry and Taylor can move up. It's just a matter of time, my friends. It's always satisfying when you get these moments in a battle where you're literally just encircling the enemy in a pocket and there's nothing they can do. Like it's just a matter of time well and truly. They're all going to move in here and close the gap. Both Legion can fall back. We might honestly be able to destroy all of their units here which is something that I've not done often in this game. Taylor, can you get in there? No. Doesn't look like it. Here we're going to move the boys up. Lucky Brigade come up. Stevo's push up. Moody's in there. Sullivan's moving up. Smokey's Bandit's moving up. Oh, well, looks like they've got more men in here than we realised. Fantastic. They're done for here, though. They're absolutely, um, they're absolutely done for. Cannons will move you up a wee bit. They're saying they're needing ammo. Let's uh, get ammo over there then. Sinclair's now firing at them from the, the sort of rear. We'll keep moving the boys up here, trying to keep the pressure on as best we can. Sullivan move up. Moody move up. Stevo's outlaws move up, sort of wheel around. We start sort of cycling out some of the really badly bruised uh, brigades and letting some of the others sort of take the take the toll here. We're we'll trying to put Taylor in on that defensive point again because I think it could end up being massive for us. We now hold both points, I think it's just a case now of uh, sort of trying to finish them off here. These lads are very badly injured, I'd rather pull them out but I don't think we've got the option to do so here. Moody's going to move up, Sullivan's going to move up there. Moody's coming there, Stevo's outlaw's going to move round a wee bit. McHenry's going to move round. Taylor's in the defensive point. Cannons are saying they need ammo. I'm doing what I can. Cook can move up. We, we've honestly just got an opportunity here to just dismantle the enemy army here. I'm going to take it as best we can. I am tempted to charge, but at the same time, if we start charging, we're going to end up uh, losing more men. So if we can set up a shooting gallery and keep doing what we're doing, I'm happy to. I'm happy to 
continue doing that honestly. Cannons I'm going to move up and we're just going to keep the pressure on as best we can. They really are in big trouble here though, they really are. If you traps back here we'll keep a defensive line, Ghost Legion can stay there. But obviously these mad lads are here, right? this is fine, matter of time here. I really should try and take them, shouldn't I, instead of destroying them. Frustrating. They're just routing, routing, routing just now. Cook, can you move up? Taylor, can you also move up? Sullivan, can you move up? And these Dixie boys, can you move up? Just a smidgen. Scotch Guard, move up. Kel Randolski, say, well, I'm almost eight. We'll go four times speed now. It's just a case of routing them and finishing them off. I almost feel bad. Almost. Kel Randolski, staying close. Let this stay at four times because uh, there's not much they can do at this point. You guys can dismount, get stuck in. You lads can come around here, dismount, and get stuck in. Sinclair move up, Cook move up, Taylor move up, and Sullivan move up. Kale Randolski stay close. This is lovely. It's a nice feeling after uh, the bullshit of this battle. Constantly retreating. It's nice to actually be destroying them here. CSA regulars will get around here. And that's a big win. That is a big win. We're going to finish this straight away. Wow. So we've got a W at the Battle of Gettysburg. We have been massively outnumbered. I'm quite looking forward to seeing just how many buy. So it is claiming that we've had three cores. I think we all know that um, Morin didn't really have a core. So technically it's been two versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cores. They had 60,000 men. Actually, all together they've had about 62, 63,000. In total, we've had about 40k. Casualties are in total about 27k oh wow we've destroyed them we've absolutely destroyed them it uh, goes um we have yeah we've managed to do most of the victory conditions not quite all of them sadly so but we've been close there units 2800 kills by the scotch guard 2600 by lees that wow first rebel yell Almost 2k killed for 5 losses. Damn. Damn. Officers, we've only lost one. I guess that's in this battle, technically. Now, this is the big bit. This is the bit we need. Goods. 2.5k Springfields. In total, 5.5k Harpers. Okay, that's that's a lot less. Pog champ. Sharps, almost 500. Or over 500. Cannons, yeah. Frank Weston, 600. Damn. Burnsides, Hunters. Bit worse. We've got a few of them back. Loren, Springs. Okay. Big, big win for us after a frustrating few days of seeding territory. We've got two career points, 25 reputation, 187,000, 12k men, as well as some prisoners here. Whew. Well, I think we'll start the next episode in a healthier position, so uh, we've got that to look forward to. With Gettysburg behind us, what do we have next? We have, of course, Chickam Chickamauga. And we've got a skirmish here at the Siege of Jackson. So two big battles for us to take part in. We've got a lot of replenishing and a lot of wound licking to do. So until the next time, my friends, thank you for watching and take care of yourselves.